We're never going to run out of places to go. We're not going to be flying around in our personal jetpacks. There's a lot you can do without leaving your home. Here at Brat, we're celebrating 50 years of independent travel publishing. In honour of that, we rounded up travel experts from several different fields to ask them, what do you think travel will look like in 50 years' time? I, I think it'll be much the same. I think people will still be trying to find less uh, known parts of the world. I mean, tourism places that are absolutely unspoiled, in quotes, will now have hotels and, and tourist structures. But I think there'll always be the appetite for what we've got now, really, you know, for, for culture, for wildlife especially. That, that's not going to go away. We're never going to run out of places to go, that's for sure. Um, I think something that will change, is changing now, is the consciousness of the impact of travel and, you know, how we travel um, and why we travel. I think, you know, something that's always been at the heart of the brat ethos is making your travel count. And I think that will become ever more prevalent um, as the, as you know, as the pressures on our climate and on our planet um, increase. I think we really will need to think about the way that we travel. Um, but I hope that in 50 years time, people will still be curious, still want to go and see other parts of the world, to understand them better, to appreciate them, and to support them, because travel is a vital industry for a lot of countries and for a lot of communities. And if it were to stop, then the world may well be a poorer place and certainly not as an exciting one. I, I hope that we will be not necessarily travelling less, but I hope that we will be more conscious of the way that we're travelling in 50 years time and that we will be slowing down um, the way that we travel and prioritising quality over quantity. I think in 50 years time people will do a lot more virtual Traveling, and there's a lot you can do without leaving your home. But there's something about being in the place, something about waking up in the morning and hearing strange birds singing that you won't get with virtual travel. So I, I think travel may be a little more selective and some of it may be done virtually. I, I think the selective and adventurous traveler will always want to be there. So going forward, I think there will be huge advances and how we experience a place. The fact that in future connectivity will just be a normal thing that everybody has will allow us to travel solo far more easily and allow us to interact with locals in a way we can only imagine right now. The technology bringing down language barriers and allowing us to be far better aware of the local culture, local tendencies. We have to have conversations in languages we have no hope of necessarily mastering by ourselves. I also think we might see a rise in virtual assistants when we're on the road, ones that might feel like real companions when we're out there wandering in a foreign country. Um, and of course, the biggest one that most of us are already aware of is that we'll all be reaching that final frontier beyond our own planet. In 50 years time, travel's going to look very much the same as it does now. We're not going to be flying around in our personal jetpacks. Um, yes, we will be possibly in better aircraft that they will be using hydrogen or maybe electricity to travel around. Ultimately, we're besotted with the world and its people and its wonders and we just carry on checking those out. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and please do hit like or subscribe and check out this link for more from Brat.